my favorite young teams in the entire NBA is no doubt about it. And I've mentioned this team plenty of times on my channel now, but that is the Charlotte Hornets. And the Charlotte Hornets, they have a very bright future ahead of them. Yes, you know, they've been struck now, like many teams this season, with COVID protocols and things of that nature. Guys being out here and there. And uh, this season, though, it's really been a huge, bright step up. And I believe the reason why still they have a, you know, it's still a, an 18 and 17 record, which is not really the greatest, but it's still something. And I believe that the reason why they still have a record over 500 and have been a contender for, you know, being a playoff team in the Eastern Conference is not just because of LaMelo Ball and his growth and development. But is is because of Miles Bridges. Miles Bridges this season definitely has the opportunity to win Most Improved Player, similar to guys like Tyler Hero, who's in that conversation as well, and many other great players this season. But Miles Bridges may be the guy who ends up winning this award, simply to the fact that Miles Bridges has taken a huge step up in his game. Not only is he become a better shooter overall, he's shooting more shots off dribbles this season alone as well. He's shooting pretty efficiently from the field this season. It's not a career high, but it's still really good at 47% from the field. But he's also in a very elite company with guys averaging at least 20 or more points per game. He joins Giannis Antetokounmpo, Anthony Davis, and Carl Anthony Towns as the only players in the NBA averaging 20 points per or more a game, seven rebounds, one steal, and one block a game. Miles Bridges is definitely taking a huge step up on the offensive side of the court. And when you look at this Hornets team overall, they are what the best offensive team in the entire NBA. And a lot of it has to do with so many scores and options that they have on this team to go out and really get buckets on that end. And you know, Miles Bridges really worked hard on this end of his game. And I mean, the Hornets really were about to give him a low ball because, you know, he's in his contract year now. So, you know, many guys, when they get that contract year, they really play their butts off. And Miles Bridges this season alone has really played his butt off. And the Hornets, they offered him in the beginning of the year, I believe, what, $60 million extension and declined that because I believe he knew how good of a player he can be. And he's shown that this season alone. And when you look at you know his future growth and development the question that many people have for him is that is this sustainable can he continue to be a consistent player who's this good and i believe that he can be think about it too he's only 23 years old and you know he's been in the league now for a few years i knew that miles bridges one day was going to at least grow into a really great player but it's really good to see how huge step he's really taken into a better direction with his game this guy he, he has a overall a really complete package even on the defensive end he's really shown his improvement on that end as well when you look at his game overall over you know the last few years he's you know improved each season especially when it comes to his three-point shot he became you know a really good spot-up shooter now he's attempting more shots off dribbles and he's doing a lot more step back shots he's doing he's adding more moves simply to his arsenal because you know for the longest all i knew mouse bridges really was was him being a highlight real you know with his dunks especially last season with Lamelo ball but he's really shown his ability to become a better ball handler better dribbler a guy who can facilitate and make plays for his teammates he's even going out and really the way he gets his buckets a lot of times is off missing matches on other teams because well like i said earlier if the hornets have so many great off offensive options that bridges isn't really going to be the key guy who teams really focus on every night so this gives him plenty of opportunities to go out and really contribute for his team so the real question for miles bridges really is is that will the hornets re-sign him to that contract that he deserves by the end of this season and will his numbers will they you know be the same you know because that is a great question and you know i did say earlier you know he's still young and he is still growing as a player and i believe that his potential is really bright especially for the future of this hornets team because well we can really finally say that the hornets they fully really really figure it out on this team and if they don't really re-sign miles bridges then well their future is definitely going to be really really bad so Resigning him really does seem like the best option for this team even though as we reach this halfway point of the season there's even been talked about him even possibly being in the, the all-star reserves conversation as well at times i mean he has played 
at a very very high level this season but for bridges overall i mean from what i've seen over him over these last years watching him play and grow and develop into the player he is you know he didn't really get all these opportunities that he was is now getting but because of his increased role and what all he's able to provide for this Hornets team, we're basically seeing what he can fully do at a high level, but just more, you know, because over the last years, you know, his usage rating has really climbed up as well. It's really shown and given us the opportunity to see his game fully intact. Because of him getting really great mismatch opportunities and his team overall having many, many great offensively talented players, Bridges is really on an island of his own getting what he basically wants and he's showing that right now But I hope you guys, you know enjoyed this video on him And I'm really looking forward to the Hornets future and just them continuously building a great team Overall in these next few years and Bridges part of his development This was just something that was always gonna happen. It's showing right now, but I hope you guys have a great day. Don't forget to leave a like and a subscribe to the channel for more videos each and every single week. Peace.